Okay, today we're going to start making our own musical instruments out of recyclables and everyday objects. So I'm going to show you a few different examples, starting with some of the most basic. Um, shakers are pretty easy to make. This is a rain stick. Um, it is actually made out of a long wrapping paper tube, and I've covered each of the ends with paper and masking tape, and then I've filled it with dried chickpeas or garbanzo beans that look like this. So when it's shaken, Here go, down the okay. Um, what I did to cover the ends of that is I actually traced the end of it and then I cut um, slits along the end of it so that they could all fold down along the edge of the circle. And then I put masking tape around the end. I will decorate that by painting it with some designs later. The next instrument I'll show you is another shaker. This is actually a hollowed out cardboard box. I've simply rubber banded some dried pea pods around it and it can act as sort of a tambourine or a shaker instrument. Makes a nice rattlesnake sound. Okay, next I'm going to show you some drums that I've created from containers and everyday objects. The first one I actually created out of a ricotta cheese container. I took the lid off and I cut off the bottom and then I covered each end with a balloon. So the balloon, what I did is I actually cut the bottom part off of the balloon so that you can open it up and stretch it across the top, okay? And once it's secure, you put a rubber band around it and then I also taped it just for good measure. So it makes a sound like a tom-tom drum. Okay. Um, next up, I did the same technique, but I actually found this little mold. Um, it's a kitchen mold. So it makes a nice um, textured sound. But I also stretched a balloon over this one as well. So they make a little bit different sound. Uh, the last drum I created was actually out of a Clorox container that I wrapped a, a plastic garbage bag around, or a grocery bag. I secured it with rubber bands on each side. And notice that I've cut the bottom off of one end and I took the lid off of the other end so it's hollow. You could use it with your hand or pencil. So um, together they make slightly different sounds. have a little variety of drum sound. And last but not least are the string instruments that I created. Um, this guitar I made out of a shoe box. I cut a hole in the middle um, and then I strung rubber bands around. I put five rubber bands. You could do three or however many you choose. But I've actually wrapped it around the entire box. And you can see I cut small slits in some of the box areas so that the rubber bands would stay secure. Did that on this side. And I also created a bridge simply by folding up a piece of poster board so that I could slide it underneath the strings for a little bit better sound. And for the handle, I actually found an old roll of wallpaper that I wasn't using. So I rolled it up and glued it in as the handle. Um, the strings make different sounds based on what type of rubber bands you use. So the notes are a little bit out of order. You could rearrange that if needed. And last but not least is a smaller string instrument that I made from another one of those hollowed boxes. I simply stretched rubber bands across it. This one has three and um, what's nice is because of the little divot this one stays put and they make different sounds. I hope you've gotten some ideas from some of these instruments and take notice that they're made out of everyday items such as pencils, containers, balloons, rubber bands, and boxes.